In this video, I'm going to talk about Copilot Power Pages capabilities. Now, how we can better utilize Copilot for rendering Power Pages content or easing our uh, effort while building a Power Pages site. Now, the first thing what you can do is you can use Copilot to create a site right from the start itself. You know, before you even uh, hit the uh, the URL for Power Pages, you can just go into the home page and then create a site then and that itself. Once the site is created, you can uh, request for some more actions like creating a page, adding control within the page, uh, describing a form to create it. So within Power Pages, you have something called as form, a basic form. So you can even create a form. You can even ask AI to suggest a form for you. And in turn, it will start building those scaffolding. Uh, you can generate a text in the text control with the copilot. So if you are drafting any content for your Power Pages uh, page, uh, then you can uh, ask Copilot to suggest some content with regards to pages. Now, also, you can suggest images for the web page. You can create a database tables. You can add PV chatbots. You can generate a website copy. And then you can do something more with Copilot within VS Code as well. Now, some of the prompts which I tried, uh, which I have listed over here, is one is like design a site for something. Okay, so if I want to design a site for a uh, cricket uh, management application, then I can do that. If I want to design a site for hospital management system, uh, I can put that prompt and then the website will get uh, created based on that request. I can even create a FAQ site for something, okay, from the website. Uh, I can add image control in the page with specifying the page name, create page with page name as page two, uh, something XX registration form or suggest image for this page. So I can use this prompt to basically build a Power Pages component uh, and thereby, you know, like AI will give me that responses uh, in a correct order uh, so that I can build my Power Pages site seamlessly. Some of the screenshot which I've taken over here, which you can see that uh, in the home page itself, you get a prompt to start building your website. You can put a uh, prompt like design a site to schedule meetings with Contoso, okay? And thereby it will build a website for you, uh, which is which will be regarded uh, regarding the scheduling meetings. Uh, also, once you are in a text control within uh, Power Pages page, then you can suggest Copilot uh, for some text or writings. Uh, on the right hand side, you get a Copilot pane whereby you can do some broader actions like requesting an action or asking a question to Power Pages. Uh, in the form interface, it gives you a prompt to uh, create a form. So uh, you can generate form on the fly, like if you want to generate scholarship application form or product customer support form or customer support request form or patient registration form. Those can be suggested by AI. Also, uh, in the prompt section, you can add uh, various prompts like create page with page name as something or add image control in the page. So it will start adding those records. From a chatbot perspective, if we go into the settings, you will see a chatbot, which is in a preview mode. It's powered by Azure OpenAI and Bing Search. So you can attach a chatbot to the Power Pages site. You can also publish the chatbot onto the site. Now, from a VS Code perspective, uh, if you go in the back end, like the VS Code uh, on the web, uh, if you enable the control Power Platform Copilot in Power Pages, then you can do something more as well. If you want to write a JavaScript to validate the email address field, or if you want to validate the phone number field, then AI will suggest a JavaScript. And also, it can insert that JavaScript within the code. So you need not even figure out where to add those JavaScript code within the application. So these are all things I'm going to demonstrate now. OK, so. This is my home uh, of make.powerpages.microsoft.sign. So here I can say start building your website with Copilot. So I can say design a website for hospital management system. Okay. Management system. So once you type in uh, this prompt and if you click on next, then it will start creating those uh, site information so at first it will create a site details and say okay uh, what should i name the site as a hospital management system and the suggested web address and then once you click on next 
it will ask you to pick the site layout that meets your need. So it will automatically suggest this. So this interface comes in. And then if you're not happy with this layout, you can click on try again. And it will suggest a different layout for this particular application. Uh, once that layout is selected by you, then you can go ahead and click on next. Now, I'm not going to do that because provisioning of site might take a while. Uh, now, it has suggested me a new uh, option over here. I may be good with this. I'll click on next. Okay. Now, this is about creating a site. Now, once you have already created a site, then what you can do, like say, if I'm opening a new page, if I'm creating a new page called as, uh, say, hospital services okay and this is a blank page okay now here if i uh, add a text control so i'm adding a text control now i want to write something about uh, say uh, diabetes okay so uh, i can start writing diabetes is something something but then i if i want copilot to suggest something about diabetes then what i can do i click on copilot here and i'll say uh, rewrite okay and it will start uh, adding about diabetes you know, it, it is already suggested diabetes is a chronic condition that affects the body ability to regulate sugar levels now i can say i want length make it longer okay i want some more text more paragraph uh, and then if i say i can put a tone as educational and it will give you some more information about diabetes and i'll say okay now this uh, looks good to me i can add it to the page or maybe I can say add more details to Copilot to work with. Okay, describe any changes you would like to make. I'll say make it more professional. Okay, and once I am happy with the content, I'll click on add to page. And this is how you render a content for the Power Pages site. Okay, now this is just one example. Now here you will see a button called as Copilot. So if you click on Copilot here. Uh, for that particular page context, you can say uh, suggest uh, some images for this page. Okay. Now, AI will suggest some uh, images for this particular page, so which I can use it uh, within the application. Uh, now, if it finds an image, then it will uh, start suggesting different images and then I can add that image or maybe I can uh, reject that output completely. Okay, it's up to uh, me on how to utilize those functionalities. Now, it might take a while to open that. Now, till the time it searches, let me show you some other functionality. Uh, the other functionality which I wanted to talk about is about uh, creating a web form. And then uh, once a web form is created, uh, you can add those web form within the application. Okay. Now here uh, it has suggested uh, some images for this page. Now, if you see the image over here, it says sunset over the ocean and it is showing a couple. Okay. Over here. Now, this is not what I wanted. Okay. So uh, that's why I selected some example which will fail the AI. And then you can say, okay, I don't want this. This is not related to diabetes. Let's click on undo. Okay. Now the moment I click do an undo, those things will be taken off from the self. So this is a kind reminder for everyone that it's an AI generated content and it is not accurate. Uh, sometimes it is not accurate and it's uh, or appropriate. Uh, so make sure that you use it uh, with discretion. Okay. And this is co-pilot. This is not autopilot. <coughs> okay. So. So now here, if I want to add a web form, so what I can do, I can add a section. Okay, so let me add a one column section. And then from here, I can add a form. So the moment I click on form, it will say what form you want to create. Okay, now I can suggest some form. Okay, so there is a copilot has already said that, hey, why don't you add copilot patient information form, which is already present within the application. Or maybe I'll just say uh, hospital inventory management form okay now if i click on the send icon then it will uh, start suggesting those form for me okay it will start creating the form in the back end so this is an ai generated form i've given some prompt to the ai and then ai will start 
looking into uh, the backend source. It, it basically looks into the large language model. And then on basis of that, it will suggest to you the table. And this is how the preview will look like. So it has item name, category, quantity, unit price, total price, vendor, vendor contact, and so on and so forth. Now here you can say that I don't want some field. Okay, so uh, say if you do not want some field then you can specify over here so if you say i don't want vendor email okay so you can say remove vendor email okay from form so then it will start removing the vendor email from the form uh, and then you can even add some column which you think is appropriate for this particular application and once you are satisfied with the form uh, then what you can do you click on okay and then once it is uh, completed let's if you see the vendor email has gone now maybe you now think that hey this form looks good to me then you can click on okay now on the left hand side you whatever prompts you type you can see the history over here okay so whatever changes you make you will see the history uh, the trail of history uh, over here mm. and also uh, ai is suggesting something from here okay now there is a refresh button over here if i click on that then it will load more suggestions so that you can fine tune your form as per your need okay and then once that is all done you can click on okay and then this particular uh, form will get added within your application so uh, these are some of the things which you can do in power pages okay now uh, there are other things which you can add like adding a control within the form okay which anyways i would suggest it might take a long to add a control so the best option is to you know like if you want to add say section or maybe if you want to add a control uh, within the section then what you can do is basically you click on this add a section like a section icon or you click on that plus icon over here and add the control okay so if you want to add an image control then you can add it like this or maybe you can just type add image control okay and then it will start adding those image control now see the time it takes you know to add an image control uh, now here it is taken this in a different way you know it, it has said that it assumed that i'm adding an image control but then it is attaching a form along with it okay so it has gone one step ahead and asked me to uh, create a form and then the form will have an image control which has a submit button in it okay but this is not what i expected so again ai can make mistake so you need to uh, provide a proper uh, information to that okay so Take for example, if I just say add image control in the page, and then if you specify the page, hospital services, hospital services page. Now I've written page twice over here just to uh, confuse the AI and see whether it picks up that typo or not okay and also i have specified exactly what i want like i said that add image control in the page now i'm giving the context of that uh, page and let's see how successful it is okay now in the first prompt which you have seen i just said add image control now the ai does not know what context are you referring to although i know that i'm in the hospital services page so it should have picked it automatically but here uh, again it has done something uh over here okay it has added a new section and it has added some images over here so that's that's good for me but it has added more content okay so uh, like that ai will, will suggest you something more uh, but you might go ahead and you might say hey i don't want this text you can go ahead and delete it okay so that's how you do basically so um, you make me utilize of copilot now if i click on edit code then it will open visual studio code in the back end so if i want to write some uh, liquid code or if i want to edit some javascript or if i want to edit some css within the application then i can make use of uh, code visual studio code now on the left hand side if it is not installed uh, it will prompt you to install but then in my case it has already that power platform copilot and power pages which is enabled now here it is suggesting me something it is telling me 
write JavaScript code for form field validation to check form field values in valid format or not. Or maybe write a web API code or write JavaScript code to highlight the row where email field is empty in the table list. Okay, I like this suggestion. What I can do, I'll click on this and then it will start working on it and it will start generating a code for me which will highlight the row where email field is empty. Now, this is the code which it has generated. So I have two options. One is to copy it to clipboard and then paste it somewhere in between the code. Or what I can do, I can just click here and it will automatically insert the code into the editor. So which I'm going to do that and it has already inserted this code into the editor. Now, this control is coming because I have uh, Copilot in Power Pages enabled. So when you open Copilot, uh, uh, when you open Visual Studio Code, it will prompt you to try Copilot for Power Pages. Once you click on it, then it will start rendering those extensions. And then once that extension is ready, you can uh, get the suggestions from Copilot. Now here you can also write uh, more suggestions. You can say JavaScript code for uh, for uh, email field validation, you know. So once you type in that, it will start looking for the code base and then uh, it will start suggesting you based on the context you received from the Power Pages uh, Visual Studio code. And then once it finds that code uh, ready, it will give you that uh, code and then you can copy the code and then you can edit it, edit in the actual editor as well. So that's it, folks. This is mainly about uh, utilizing Power Pages for uh, uh, for uh, easing your work uh, by utilizing Copilot, by adding pages, suggesting forms, uh, suggesting code uh, to uh, properly build your applications uh, and also in a short period of time. Now, remember, again, it's AI generated content. Content may be incorrect, as we have saw in a couple of examples. So. Whatever AI suggests you, make sure that you uh, validate this information. And then if you are satisfied, then only use this within your application. Thanks for watching.